morning. I'll show you how to program a part on our new robot manager. This is a software we developed to, um, to program our robot cells and it's extremely easy. Uh, right here you see the main page. I can open parts, that's what I'm going to do. These are the parts I used last. These are already projects with, which exist. And here I have my customer database um, where I can find parts which I want to, uh, to robotize. So I take, I take this one here. Here I choose my cell. I know that I have this cell, choose that one. And now we get to the main page of the robot program. And here we have to choose, for example, uh, the cell, the grippers and everything. I can check my part again, double check it. All right, this is the cell. So I see my pickup pellets here. I see my chute, uh, I see the machine. I can switch different things on and off. Mm, yeah, normally I want it like this. This is the easiest uh, to program. So what I need to do here is to um, choose a gripper or a vacuum cup, that's what I did, and then I make a program. So that's what it does here. I can verify all this. I don't want to do, uh, do the dual sheet detection. Um, I know that my parts don't stick, so I'm fine. Create a program and it will now make blocks. Um, for this program, I need two blocks for the bending. They're right here at the bottom and then home position pickup, that's where I am now. Reference and uh, drop it in the chute. So this is where we are and this first bit is about the part itself. So I need to tell the machine where the part is. So I said, yeah, it's here, it's fine. Um, next position. What we've tried is to use as least uh, possible this side here where the numbers are. I don't want to type numbers, I hate numbers. So here, um, this is the reference table. Parts should drop in this corner. So what I do is I, I let it drop, we calculate. Uh, we have a physics engine in here friction, gravity, inclination, and it drops right here in the corner. So we're good. Uh, last bit here is uh, how, how am I going to uh, let it drop in the, in the shoot here, shoot um, like this. Maybe put it in a little bit more, a little bit more. There, that will drop, no problem. And once I've done that, I can, I'm finished here. There's no more black arrows. So next one is the gripper positions. I, I need to do the same thing again. And what we've done here, something very clever, I have a before and after view. So if I make a movement here, I can see the result of that movement here. So if I make this movement too big, then it results in a crash here. I don't want that, so I'll put it back. Normally what we calculate is pretty good. You don't need to touch it. So next position from here to here, that's fine. And then first bend, second bend, and then drop it. Again, if I want to move something, I can move it. No problem at all. Put it back. And again, also here, of course, if I touch something, it will get red and that's uh, basically a bad idea. I leave it like this. So that's basically it. At the bottom, everything is yellow. That means that um, I've done it. And now I need to create the robot program. So first I hit this optimize configuration. Now the software tries to eliminate uh, unnecessary movement. It's done that already and then check. Now it's connecting all these blocks together. And if there's a collision between blocks, uh, like I have here, it's red, this is red, there's a collision. Also these little dots indicate the collision. So if I go there, then I can actually see the collision. It will go through this thing here. That is not a good thing. And But we've noticed it, that, that there is this collision. So we've already um, done the next step. We've created these two blocks in between uh, the other blocks. So here, these two red blocks are points in space, which have not been calculated yet. But if I push this button, it's uh, it's calculating. So we add points in space, and now I have a complete uh, collision-free robot program. So this is this is it. This is done. What I can do now to make more uh, autonomy in the cell, for example, I can make a stack pattern uh, here. I can say co copy this one in the y direction. So I've got two now. Uh, I can enter my uh, my pins. Uh, I want a pin here. I want a pin here. Uh, this is for the operator, uh, you know, to shift uh, shift his parts against uh, one here. And I see that this one is red now, so I need to move it a little bit more like this. That's okay. And then um, I can do the same thing for the for the the place position. That's here. Again, I can just say copy this one. Uh, copy it once more like that, yeah, fine. So I don't get a big pile in the end of my um, pellet. I get a nice three little piles, that's much better. Uh, I, I need, to, uh, need to calculate these parts because I've added positions. So I hit check again. So it will 
recalculate everything. The middle bit it will stay the same because I didn't change that. And now I have new positions. Everything is green. The pickup positions are here and these are the shoot positions. And everything is done now. I can I can run this. I can choose here which 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 one I want to see. Yeah, this is the first one. Uh, reference position here. It's the middle one. So let's let's um, simulate this. We choose the views automatically, so uh, the operator can see um, exactly where the movements are. This is happening 100% in, in real time in, in, in the cell also. You can block the view with these little buttons here. So now our program will keep this view until, until the end of the simulation. I will unblock it because uh, otherwise we can't see where it drops the part, so bend number one. Pen number two. So I wasn't talking. Then making a program like this will take uh, will take two minutes, three minutes maximum. Of course, if it gets a little bit more complex, I need a little bit more time. But it's still super easy to make programs with uh, Robot Manager. I'll unblock this again, and then it will put it on the output here, and then it will go back to the home position. So that's it. Uh, I need to save this part. I need to um, export it to the machines. That's what I do here. Save. And then here. And it will also make a drawing uh, with where the operator has to put these uh, pins, uh, the pins for the, for the table, so he can uh, put them in the right position. And that's it. I'm all done now. Thank you very much.